good comic heads. This is Joseph Banks for Run the Comics. How you guys been, man? I've been good. Can't complain. But um, just want to come at y'all with a haul I pulled today. So I'm here in the dungeon. See all the tools. Got the boxes. Uh, got those comics over there. So we're gonna go through these and show you what I picked up. Two places: my LCS, which is my parents' basement and also half price books. I always tell you guys, check out these half price books, especially for some books you're trying to fill in your runs. You'll find those, but you may find some variants and gems in there. And they also have more collectible or higher price books in their little locked stash over there by the comic section. What well, is for my shop, they have like a little locked box with comics that cost more than the half price books. So let's run it real quick. You know, Green Lantern. So I always check the Green Lanterns first, see if they have Green Lantern. And they do have some which I've been looking for, trying to get. First, Green Lantern Core number two. And Green Lantern Core 36, the Lego variant. And speaking of Lego variants, get John Stewart on there. We also have Green Lantern 36, the Lego variant. So all I'm missing with the Lego variants for Green Lantern, I believe is Sinestro. I think they may have a Red Lantern and the New Guardians, Green Lantern New Guardians. So I think I'm missing those three, I believe. I'm trying to complete this run from the new age of superheroes that DC did. And um, this is an interesting character. I don't know if they're gonna use this character in the future. They may, because actually on this cover, I'm looking at some characters which DC used for their Seven Soldiers line. You remember those? actually collected the Frankenstein Seven Soldiers because I was introduced to him through the Superman, um, well, not the volume that's being written by um, Brian Michael Bendis now, but the previous volume. Was Jason Aaron the writer of that? I can't remember who the writer was that, but it was the previous volume of Superman, which I really loved, which really showed Damien. It was the first time he showed the Super Sons, that volume. So I was introduced to Frankenstein and his wife, and he was part of the Seven Soldiers, previously written about. So Sideways number eight is bringing back, bringing back the Seven Soldiers. So I kind of like this character. It reminds you of Spider-Man um, with powers very similar to Nightcrawler. So really dope. Sideways, almost finished with the entire run. We have Legion of Superheroes number two, the Ryan Sook cover, which is the cover A. I'm slowly getting these whenever I can. Um, I know they're at number eight or nine now. I think they're at number nine now. So I'm really slowly trying to get these. Very difficult to get certain ones. So we'll see how that goes. Really would like to get that gold lantern cover, which I think is number seven. Seven or eight, I can't remember which one. But I got number two, so we're picking up on those slowly but surely. And here you go, we have Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme, number one, that hip hop cover variant. I've been collecting these um, sparingly or you know, sporadically, and I actually have my others over there because I was gonna do a video on hip hop covers. So this is, I forgot who the cover is. I put it in, right next to my face over here, who the homage is to for this cover, because I can't remember who this was. I kind of can see it, but I can't remember. So it's a, um, Illustrated by Wando, who I did the all, who did the other Doctor Strange hip hop variant. So this is really dope. So it's hip hop variants, as you know, they're very popular now. And then for my LCS, or I should say one of my LCS, this is the one I have my pull this at. Um, and it's the one that's the closest to me. That's why I have a pull this there. And that is for my parents' basement. So first thing we we'll have up is Canto Two, Number Two, and. When I saw this cover, Kanto, Guy of Steel, all the little steel people, or people who got put in these bodies, their hearts removed, replaced with clocks. And on this cover, he's actually meeting some scarecrows. Is Kanto supposed to be some metaphor about the Wizard of Oz or something? I don't know, but when I saw this cover, that's the first thing popped in my head. So we're gonna see how, um, this is written, the first arc, was, or I should say the first volume was really dope. This is the second volume, Canto 2, so this should be equally dope. This is a book which I was not going to continue, but issue number three has me intrigued, so I'm continuing with it, and that's for 
Boom Studios Wind number four version variant cover. Really dope, really like that. So I wanna see how this goes. And this issue will probably make or break. I'll see if I'm gonna continue or not. Next, got two books that's continuing in a uh, line of books I've been collecting. Specifically for this volume, this is the second volume, they're movie variants, or should I say 90s movie variants, particularly, well no, not my 90s movie variants, but movie variants, specifically movie variants with um, black characters. And that's Bitterroot. And I found issues eight and 10, part of a connecting cover. I already have seven, nine, six, seven, and nine. So this completes, I think this is the end of this second volume. So all I am looking for right now, which I am trying to find, um, which I think a book which I was bidding on, or I was looking at, is number, is it seven? I believe it's seven, yeah. Um, I believe it's seven, um, movie variant. Um, cover which was a one per store which the others were actually a one in ten but this is the only one that's most difficult to find which is um a juice movie homage the movie juice homage cover for that so it's difficult to find hey, if you want to gift me <laughs> here we have once in future number 11 that a cover dope store dope 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 story Expertly illustrated by Dan Mora, um, Kieran Gillen, really writing his behind off of this one. This is a dope story. They need to do something with this. Really do about um, the round table and really it's different than what you think. So really do dope. One of my favorite artists, and he is has some covers he's doing for Marvel. What they call the the timeless variants. You know what I'm talking about if you've been collecting. That's right, Alex Ross goodness. This is that Immortal Hulk number 38, I believe. So, I have a few of these. I'm not getting every one, just getting the ones which I want, which I like, or that's a part of runs which I've been kind of collecting. So, I've been collecting Immortal Hulk. Still gotta get some of the earlier issues, so that's, I'm gonna wait on that. But getting back to, or should I say, going to DC, I got that Death Metal, Speed Metal, One Shot. Really dope. I'm really digging the whole death on um, Dark Knights death metal. Really digging that, as well as their deceased. So I can't wait. I think next week, deceased number, um, deceased dead planet number four, I believe, come out. I can't wait for that one. But this is speed metal continuing with the story. It's really dope. These two right here. I wanted to get the number one for this book, but they sold out. I don't know what the printing. You know how many books were actually printed I'm unsure but I have the third print so of course you know it's even lower than the first and second print but I did get number two first print and that's for seven secrets it's that third print right here the seven secrets and issue number two so people say it was a good read so I'm really can't wait to dig into this but I'm still gonna get that first printing of number one um, and I really want to get that on I think it's in Yuck Lee number one cover, which I think is the cover B or C. So really good. Here's a book I've been trying to get. Red Lanterns number one. Found that. Got it for like a dollar. But it was in great condition. Threw it in some Mylar. Really pop, pop, pop. And I want to get that B cover for this, the variant cover for this, which the background is even more red. It's almost like a blood red, it's like all almost, almost, it's almost translucent. I want to get that. But this is the A cover for Red Lanterns number one. Atrocitus. We like to have a cover with Atrocitus and this guy, Apocalypse, on the cover. That would be really dope. Um, uh, I know they're both, you know, Marvel and DC, but I, I would, it was a, me getting one of those blank covers illustrated. That's what I would do. But here we have that Sword of X creation, part one of 22. I just want to get number one. See how this kind of starts off. See what Jonathan Hickman is talking about. So we're gonna really check this out. Um, uh, Laraz is illustrating this. I repeat the inside. Dope. You know how Hickman is. I don't know how Hickman keep up with all these books. Cause he's doing this. He's 
doing Decorum, I believe. He did The House and Powers of X, and I think he's doing this, another book or two because he's very detailed. I like, I'm thinking that his, the room that he write in must have all these big charts with little strings going from here to there. He must have some, because things are just so crazy. And the way he uses also um, graphs and maps and planet topography and ugh, he really utilizes graph design in his work. So I peeked in this and this does the same thing. So this is Sword of X. Let's see all these swords are about. Let's see what they're gonna be dealing with. So we'll see how that goes. These next three are books that I've been collecting since number one. I'm missing a few kind of in the middle, but I'm really happy to find get these, plus the newest one, which is a tie-in to the Dark Knight's Metal, and that's Justice League. We have 51, illustrated by um, Nick Darrington, who did, um, uh, oh man, who did um, Black, um, I forgot the name of the, cover, uh, name of the book that he was illustrator for, but um, Nick Darrington, <laughs> really dope illustrator. That's 51, Justice League. Is 52, and 53, which I believe is illustrated by um, Liam Sharp. I think that's Liam Sharp's work, which is really dope. He did some um, Green Lantern work, which I really like his style. Really like this stuff. Especially when doing something with Alien. He really makes Alien look Alien. So. That's Justice League. This right here, which I've heard about, actually had a TV show based off of this. Um, Mayberry or Marberry. V Wars for IDW. This is number one. Illustrated cover illustration by Ryan Brown. I don't know if this is Ryan Brown's first cover illustration. I know he's been doing, he's been in the comics industry for a very long time. But I wonder, is this his first cover illustration? I don't know. Um, let me know below, but I'm gonna check it out myself. But you can let me know below also. But it's really dope, Ryan Brown. It's not his first, it's one of, his, one of the first. And then lastly, these are books which I already have, but I just grabbed some more of. And that's for the free comic book day that Jack Kirby got two of them and Firepower. This is like a third copy of Firepower Free Comic Day. So that's my comic haul. Really hope you dug that. Some dopeness which I picked up from LCS and also from Half Price Books. Check out Half Price Books and all these other little bookstores and things like that. They really have some dope books in there. Just check and look. Um, and you'll find some good quality. I still do not like when they put stickers on books and they actually did that. I was going to get, but um, they had the sticker on the book. It was 50 cent too, but I just didn't, I don't want to deal with it. So, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely like, share, subscribe, and comment below what books have you picked up this week for your comic book haul. And uh, hey, I'm ready to dig into these. Lots of dope stories here, a lot of dope collectibles. Do some more videos, especially on the hip hop covers and some of my artist spotlight, which I forgot I will do on another artist, which those are coming up. I've been slacking on my artist spotlight videos. They are gonna come up. Be on the lookout for those and other content, dealing with stuff that's going on in the comic book community and elsewhere in pop, nerd culture, things like that nature, all right? Hope you have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Grace and peace.